Chloe, we're back again, Revenge Bod. This season feels more emotional than ever, in a good way. Uh, but what is it like for you to take people on these intense emotional journeys? You know, I feel really honored that mm -hmm. people are trusting me with this journey because mm -hmm. I get what it's like to be on camera and to be working out and doing all that in front of a camera, but I don't think the average person really realizes how vulnerable and how kind of aggressive we are in mm -hmm. their faces filming. And when you're on this journey, it, it you have to be really vulnerable and it's emotional and really, really hard. And there's days that you don't want to work out and you really are like, wait, I'm sweating, I'm red, I'm <laughs> gross. I don't want to be on camera like this. And people, mm -hmm. I don't think really realize what they're getting into. So I'm, since I've been on this journey, I can be really sensitive to it as well. Yeah. But I do, I really feel very honored and I ho try to hold their stories with like the highest respect and care as possible. This show is called Revenge Body, but that's more just like a play on words and let's grab people's attention. Mm -hmm. But it's so much mind, body, and soul. So, I mean, I'm really, I am honored that you shared that with me. I really am. Yeah. And yeah. I'm proud of you. No, oh, thank you. Well, you guys know what it's like to live your lives on camera. <laughs> we do. We do. I think you started filming not too long after having True. Yeah. What's it been like for you to see your, your post-baby body on camera, to be on that journey? What's your relationship with your body like now? Well, I am. I think the first episode is me doing, there's a little bit of kind of following my journey in that. But it's funny because seeing at the beginning of all the episodes, I have my sit down with them and I'm a little bigger because it was closest to when I just had True. And then at the end, their reveals, you kind of see my reveals too, even though it's not about me, but I'm like, oh my God, I look so much skinnier. Because you're working at the same time. <laughs> right. And it's uh, it, that's interesting to see. But yeah. I'm, I felt really good right after True too. I was really proud of myself how I thought I would be a little more insecure because I worked so hard to get my body before I got pregnant. Um, and I... Well, I felt really good. I think after you have a baby, you just feel empowered. And just the fact that you're now able to juggle a child working out and work, I think that's an accomplishment. So I felt really good that I found my groove and that I was trying. When you talk in the trailer about this season being about transforming not just body, but soul and mind, where are you at for yourself on that mind-soul journey right now? Um, I really think I'm in a good place, but I think working on your personal growth internally is something that will be a forever mm -hmm. um, mission. And I always want to evolve and grow and mature emotionally um, because that's how we become yeah. better people. Yeah. Um, while the world is changing around us, we should adapt to that too. But always remember to be kind and just courteous of what's happening around you too. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't ever want that to change. Yeah. By the way, we heard that Rob might be getting back in the gym. Mm -hmm. Can we get Rob on Revenge Bot? How's Rob doing? I know. Rob's doing great. Yeah. He really is. And, you know, he's been working out a couple. He goes to Kim's. He goes to Kim's. Uh -huh. He's worked out for like Think, the past five days yeah. or so. And he's kicking ass. And I just want Rob to do what's best for him and what makes him happy. And if that makes him happy, then we will all support him. Oh, love it. Um, we got to ask you, how do you deal with the haters? Because people come for you. They say, like, you're changing your photos. Things are fake. How do you they deal do. with that? They do. You just have to deal with it. It is yeah. what it is. I don't take it too seriously because God only knows if I looked at their photos, <laughs> what they look like and in real life. Or it's Instagram. It's There's Instagram. filters for a reason. Mm -hmm. But I also People don't. Have to use them. I, I also don't care. Yeah. Like it is what it is. So any yeah. face I have, they're beautiful. Well, yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and I gotta say, I mean, sitting here and also on this show, you look better than ever. Oh, thank you. Does Khloe Kardashian have a little bit of a revenge body now? Like how you feeling? I mean, Big I feel time. like, yeah. Yeah? Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Chloe, are you dating? No, I'm not dating right now, but okay. I'm uh, I love life. Yeah. Well, besides you. Oh, sorry. Like <laughs> sorry. sorry, we're on a date. Right. But um, I just, I'm really just enjoying my life and my time with my baby and yeah. family. And I don't yeah. want her to date. Why not? She doesn't need it right now. What I do don't. I, I'm, I'm so fine not yeah. dating right no, now. It's not the... If you think about it in the future, do you know what kind of guy you would want down the road? What you'd need? I don't. Oh, okay. And <laughs> Scott, <laughs> I don't, but I've never really put that much pressure on dating. I'm yeah. just, you know, whoever you are in a room with that you connect with and there's chemistry, then that's who you should date. But I'm just not even in that headspace. Mm -hmm. But you never know what will happen. Yeah, just taking time. Yeah. yeah. We got to ask you, uh, we did see part one of another little show you guys are on, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Uh, we saw some of the finale. What is it like for you to watch that back, to relive that really tough time that you went through? Well, he actually said he didn't kiss her. Liar! No, 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 but don't say you didn't do something that you 
did when you both told me you bitches. I personally don't watch it back um, because I just I already know what happens, <laughs> and it. It's just, I think, a little too toxic for me to keep reliving stuff mm -hmm. like that. So I stay off social. I don't, I didn't watch it. Um, and it's just a part of our job that we kind of have to do. So we can't just sh pick and choose what we want to show. That's not fair. And so <coughs> it's just what it is. Well, Scott, I liked, uh, you really defended Chloe. You were like, I'm um, you know, Yeah. What was going through your mind? Were you upset for her? What, what did you want to happen for her during all that? Well, the truth of the matter was, I think a lot of people started getting too caught up in the negative side of things when in actuality the only thing that really matters is Chloe and her baby True. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Nothing else and all support should be going for her and how she feels and that's it. This has happened to a million people in the world. Let's just figure out how to get Chloe through it, not figure out how to get any negativity in it. And I just think it She's what matters. Her baby's what matters. I also think her that, feeling okay is what matters. But bashing either side is just not cool for I, me. Bashing it's just not necessary. Anybody. I don't think there needs to be negativity on anywhere. I think it's just a story that's being told. But anybody picking a side or, you know, right. condemning any human, I think this is a part of life. I'm not saying it it's a good part. It was unfortunate. Yeah. But there was way too many people that then got involved. Yeah. Then felt like it was their story and felt like they needed to. It, Let's just focus on what's real and what's happening because all these other things aren't going to change and they're not going to help anything. Mm -mm. I love this side of Scott. Yeah. Yes, Scott. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we love I'll this. be doing a motivational speech yeah. on the street later. <laughs> the support of Scott. Uh, Scott, so your show, Flipping It Like Disick. I'm flipping luxurious multi million dollar homes. Oh my gosh. Any celebs you want to get your, your hands on with their houses in particular? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> No, so the truth of the matter is, initially, you know, when I started buying and selling real estate, you know, my biggest thing was I saw a house and I could definitely see potential. So I said, you know, I got to start just putting my money into these things and buying and selling houses. Mm -hmm. So within that, my goal was to become a developer and move on, you know, from property to property and go bigger, bigger, bigger and bigger. But within that time, people started thinking that I renovate homes as well. <laughs> so now I have millions of people that are friends or family that are like, hey, by the way, you know, uh, I need a new kitchen. Can you flip my house? I'm one and of I'm them. Like, I love it. You know, my, he hasn't done it, <laughs> my passion is really developing properties yeah. and reselling. Okay. Flipping. But now I'll be honest, there's probably a big business yeah. for just renovations. Great. And it might have to be you know, a team that I have that can be in place to do that because that's not exactly where I was going <laughs> Well, we see Courtney tell you she's proud of you on the show. Yeah. How does that feel for you to hear? Yeah, it's great. I mean, I yeah. think we've been through so much and so many things, and to hear her be proud of me means, you know, a mm -hmm. ton to me. You guys are like the co-parenting gold standard, I feel they like. They are. I don't love the phrase when people call what we're doing just co-parenting. It's not like you drop them to me, I drop them to you. Case yeah, closed, no. don't speak to me. Yeah. We're very much on the same everything. Yeah. How did you get to this place with you and Courtney and Sophia and the kids? I saw you say on Instagram your kids are your priority. How would you get to this good place together? I mean, I think you just got to figure out really what's important to you at the end of the day. I mean, there's so many different things that could pull you in different directions, and you could look online and Instagram, social media, and all these things. But at the end of the day, I mean, you just want to be happy. You want to be content. You want to be comfortable. You want to love but the you people you're with. you guys are on another with. level, Scott. It's like, oh, who, I get who it. goes on their vacation with like, it's like this exes together thing is amazing. I'm yeah. we're all so impressed by it. How do you Listen, do it? I think the real part is <laughs> life is a challenge. And if you work at what you want, you can get it. But it takes hard work. Simple as that. You can easily live less of a life mm -hmm. without working as hard. And that's up to you. And it's hard work for all parties, I think, mm -hmm. for oh, you, God, yeah. Court, Sophia. They're yeah. all really Everybody's just invested. strong. Like, it's, I'm really proud of all of them. Yeah. yeah. I got I mean, Courtney, being your older sister, do you guys, do you look to them and kind of learn from what, you know, Courtney and Scott are doing? Yeah, no, I think they're doing amazing. And mm -hmm. I think everyone has to handle their co-parenting situation in their own style. But my mom and my dad were like that. It took them years. But my dad would come over once a week for family dinners and would mm -hmm. play golf with my stepdad. Mm -hmm. And so... We come from a family where we believe in that, and you share children with people, and that's how it should be. And love is love, and I'm yeah. so proud of them, and I'm so proud of them promoting that and hopefully you know, inspiring other people that it's a beautiful thing to get along with each other and for your kids to see that.